Clutch pack delete with the ramp style. So you're gonna open the case, you're gonna pull the pump off, you're gonna get all these clutches, these balls, everything's gonna fall apart, it don't matter. Don't even worry about where everything goes. I'm gonna show you how it goes now. So basically what you're gonna need, make sure that this didn't fall out. This normally doesn't come out, but it sits right here on the bottom. It doesn't really fall out, but just in case it falls on people, it just goes down there. All right, this is all you're gonna need. You're gonna need, when you take this all apart, you're gonna have the spring, the ramp cover where the balls would go. You're gonna have all the, um, the steel plates. You're gonna have this like concave convex washer. You're gonna have this bearing, the hub, and the snap ring. All right, you're gonna start the assembly. Here, you wanna hold the camera and do it? You're gonna start the assembly. You're gonna have eight discs that have the circle, and you're gonna have the one with the triangle. All right, triangle goes first. All right, triangle goes down. And then you want to put the hub in. You got two sides set up. You got this side and this side. You're going to want the uh, this side down. You're going to put that in, right? And then just make sure it's locked in there. And then now you're just going to stack the eight circle ones. And you're going to line the triangle with the circle. So let's pop these suckers in. That's one, two, tres, four, five, Get the camera closer. Yeah. Eight. You gotta get, you're gonna put all those in, right? After that, you're gonna add the spring right in there. You're gonna have this concave and con convex washer. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm basically gonna put this side down. All right. So it's kind of adding like a spring washer. Then I'm gonna put this on. All right. Without the balls or anything, it's got four grooves in here, put it in here, they gotta line with those four grooves. So you kinda gotta like twist it around, play with it until you find the four slots that fit in. Once you get them, see how they fit in, now I can push it in. You're fighting the spring pressure right now, so this might take two people. So I'm gonna have my guy here, pass the camera to me, and then you can push it down. So this is how we do it. It's kinda ghetto, but this is all I got for the video right now real quick. So I'm just using this. I'm gonna just line it up to where I can push it down, right there. Push it, and then my guy's gonna push this down as hard as he can. I'm just gonna smack this uh, snap ring in here. All right, this is gonna fit really tight and this is how you want it so that it's literally holding everything in super tight. Can you put that closer down there, Amir? Like I said, it, the snap ring, you gotta make sure it sits in there but it's gonna be in there like real tight. Right there, let go. See, so you can see how far it goes in. It, it, it doesn't really, I don't know if I can see from this angle. It doesn't really snap in all the way. There's only a little groove that it, sna it snaps in. So all I'm gonna do right now is push all around and make sure it's locked and it's real tight. Can you, so I'll go from here, like three, six, nine, 12 o'clock, just boom. So I know it's tight. Like I can literally, boom, it's locked in there, right? After that, you got, you got three of these plates, the aluminum ones. You see how I have two thick ones and one thin one? Order don't matter, but you're basically gonna put two thick and one thin, that's all you should have, three of them. Right, after that, you should be able to put this cover plate on, which you still end up using, right? Shine the camera down in there, boom. That should complete that. See, it should be flush there. All right, after that, you pull off the pump. Here's the pump, it's got three screws. One, two, three. After you pull it out, I already did this. Sorry, I didn't get to record it, but you pull this little um, pin out of there or sometimes it even falls out and the collar out of there. You ditch those, you throw them in the garbage. Same with all this shit. This shit's all garbage. You won't use any of that, right? So now what you want to do, hold the camera. You want to pop the pump back on, right? I'm not torquing anything down. Um, with the torque wrench right now because this is for just assembly purposes but you put the three screws in here right pop them on zip them down whatever torque them down lock them whatever the hell you want to do and then you got this washer here you have this outside part and then you have like the inside part of it this one faces up this is what's going to be rubbing on here so you want this down so what i like to do is put a little grease on here just to hold it so 
the Honda grease. It don't matter. Put a little grease at this edge, this edge, put it on there. That should kind of hold it. Now, this is the tricky part is putting this on without that cover falling. So like I said, this is kind of easier with two people. Pretty much it's ready to be assembled. You're gonna Honda bond the flange. And then what I like to do is um, hold this diff right there. He's holding me the diff at a slight angle down while I put this on that way, cause this plate is loose. What's holding that is gonna be over here, the washer. So basically I just slide it down at an angle. I kind of twist it. All right. Be the little bitch, but there it goes. Right, it's in. And then I can smack this back on the table. And then you could torque it all down with the screws. I'm just gonna put this on here for now, just two bolts so you can kind of get the idea. Boom. And boom, right? Obviously you want to hand up on that torque inspector and bam. Now look at this. Spins here and it's sending it to there. And there you go. That's how you uh, lock the ramp style.